Welcome to the Great Exodus series. God's plan for your rescue. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael and I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is what we have received in our daily prophetic words, the scales of Michael and what it means. And also the questions, were the apostles left behind? So let us start with the scales of Michael. What have the scales of Michael to do with our path to Mount Zion? The scales should always be balanced. That means you have an opinion on the left and an opinion on the right. But the truth is lying in the middle. As you can see from the how a scale is built, you see that the that the scales are hanging on the middle center part and they are only balanced if the opinions are equal on both sides then you have a balance then you have balance and harmony and then you walk the mid middle path the righteous path so michael the archangel will help you on your path will take you by the hand and will show you the right way Another example to clarify this is the first Exodus, when they went to the Red Sea. You can see in the picture that we use, for example, on the right side you see a big wave of water, and on the left side you see a big wave of water, symbolizing the scales on the right and on the left. But you see the path is in the middle, in between them. And also the waves on the right and on the left are equal height. So it's balanced there. But your path is in the middle. And this is your dry ground. And this is your true and righteous path. And this path will lead to Mount Zion, the holy mountain of the Father. Where we will be ruptured into paradise. As true sons and daughters of the Most High. So walk with us on that path. Come out of the world in Babylon and walk in the great exodus towards paradise. You can be part of it, but we ask you not to sit quiet at home, but to come forth and establish assemblies of righteousness, of love, unity and support, societies of the rose in the nations, and to do a daily sacrifice of love for the Father towards the needy in your neighborhood, so that you shine forth that people will recognize you as the two sons and daughters of Yahweh. You can be part of this. Change your life. Do something active. Something meaningful for the kingdom. Advance the kingdom. Win souls. Be a harvest worker. Bring the people in. Because the people that you support and help with your daily sacrifice of love will also be the people that will then come and join you. And these are the souls, the pearls that you have rescued from the world, from Babylon and from Satan. You will win souls, not by opinions, not by fighting, not by backstabbing, but by example. Because the people will say, who are these that are so content and happy in their lives and that will do every day good things in the neighborhood, who help the needy, who look after the Lazarus and the kids. Who are these? And can we join them? Join them? Can we stay like them? Can we establish similar assemblies of righteousness? So that we also have the benefits that the Father will put us under his wings. And in this way, the people will come and join you. And then you will have brought many people to righteousness. And this is your true destiny and purpose. Not only that you have agreed to before you were even born, but also what you have to do in this world for the Father. This is taking your cross. This is following the example and pattern of the apostles. And this will lead us to the next question that we had in the beginning. Were the apostles left behind? Is there a pattern to be seen? 
because at this time when Jesus ascended to heaven, the apostles remained. They could not go where he went. So what did the apostles do after he went to heaven? They assembled in Jerusalem, they received the Holy Spirit as their helpers, and then they went out into the nation to gather in the great harvest of the Christians, the beginning of Christianity. So now, do we now not have a similar situation? We know that the bride will go, and they will go in a similar way as Jesus went. They will be taken into the clouds, and they will disappear. And there will be people left behind. And these people that are left behind will also receive power. Maybe two mantles like Elijah did from Elisha. Or uh, the Holy Spirit will be poured out, as it is written that the Spirit will be poured out to many people in the last days. And then these people, this remnant that's left behind, will also go into the nations and gather the harvest, the harvest of the ages, that will then be ruptured as a multitude closed and wide at Mount Zion, at the sixth seal. Yes, there will be tribulation. Yes, there will be problems in this time period. But we will be standing under the wings of the Father, and He will protect us. And He will give us everything we need. If it's finances, resources, or any other support, we will have enough to do our harvest work. So walk, walk with us, join us, join Triple Grace, establish a society of the rose in your neighborhood, become a true son and daughter of the Most High. Of course, I pray that each and every one of you will be part of the bride, but I know that will not happen. Not all will go. And that's the reason why the Lord have instructed me 10 years ago to build Triple Grace and to build the Societies of the Rose for this time period. So when you are left behind, then come, join me, take my hand, walk with me that path to Mount Zion. Because at that time period, the great rapture will take place, the rapture of the church, not the escape of the bride, what will happen right now but the rapture of the church. So you do not have to be in despair when you see people disappear, the bride. Not everybody can be so holy. But then you have another chance, a chance to show your true face through action and be part of the multitude closed in white. Not, of course, some people might die on the way. But most of the people who stay under the protection of the Father will reach Mount Zion and will be raptured there into paradise. And you will receive the mention that Jesus has told you, that he will prepare for you. That will be at this mountain, at Mount Zion. So walk with me that path. Come out of the world in Babylon. Do not work anymore for money in the beast system. But come out and do the work in the economy of God. And that is winning souls, bringing in the great harvest of the ages. How do we do this one? We will do it through the great exodus. We come out of the world in Babylon, we establish societies of the rose in all nations, and these societies of the rose will be the collecting places, the safe havens of the Father, where the people will come and join. And then you will fulfill Daniel 12.3 and will bring many people to righteousness and it will shine as the stars forever and ever. So be part of it. Don't feel bad if you are not part of the bride. But come and join me and walk with me on that path. I'm here for you, for all of you, and I love you all dearly. So use the resources we have at Triple Grace. Become a member of Triple Grace. Watch all of our videos, especially the videos about Triple Grace and Societies of the Rose, to learn about Societies of the Rose and the Great Harvest. There are many resources that we have put up on the YouTube channel and also on Triple Grace, and more and more will be added over time. 
So become a member and join us. I thank you that you are here for me for this special topic of the scales of Michael, that we have to walk in balance and harmony in the middle path, the path to Mount Zion. If you feel guided by the Holy Spirit, please support us with your donations, with your acts of loving kindness, so that we can establish more societies of the Rose and the Nations, that we can fulfill our mission to Cambodia, that we can make more and better videos. So help us on our way with a loving and kind heart. Thank you for all of your donations. I wish you a great day. May God bless you and your family abundantly. And I will see you again tomorrow. My name is Michael. Have a great day. Maranatha.